Hello. Welcome to this tutorial of the LMNT 2016 software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the RSS data-driven widgets within the widgets tab in LMNT 2016. For this video, I'm going to use a text ticker. However, there will be an additional video that talks about all the different types of widgets that are used within the data-driven widgets folders. Uh, so first, let me change this background to white up here in the document properties, so that way I can see the ticker. OK, now I'm going to add my text ticker. And I'm just going to have it scroll along the bottom. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and configure this RSS text ticker widget. So the most important property here is under data. If I double click on this, this is just going to show you a URI text box. And in here, you're going to put in the address of any valid RSS address that you want. So as an example, I'm just going to do a Google search for CNN RSS feeds. If you want, you can use your own if you have your own companies. Um, you can use one like CNN or USA Today or Fox News. Um, just make sure that you abide by their terms of use. So I'm going to grab the top stories one. And here is the link that I'm going to grab. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into here. Let me open up all of Elementi as well. Uh, the refresh, I usually recommend leaving this, or not leaving, excuse me, changing it from when document opens to some amount of time. I'll do an hour. And then when I hit OK, that will start scrolling the RSS feed along the bottom. Uh, you can format the text under text template. You'll see this same property show up in all three of the text widgets, text bar, text ticker, text roll. Uh, so I'm going to change the font and not touch the color. You can do formatting there. I'm also going to change the speed. It's a little slow for me, so I'm going to double it. It was 100. Now I'm changing it to 200. And change the spacing between stories to 200. So uh, RSS, probably one of the more simple data-driven widgets. Um, you just need a valid RSS address, put it in the data section, and that's all there is to it. So thank you very much for watching.